Hello, my name is Matt Russell. I'm an FX Power Course Instructor here at FXCM. I want to welcome everybody to the daily FX walkthrough. Going to get started in just a moment. What I'm going to do tonight is walk through the latest technical report by Jamie Setley at dailyfx.com. So let's go ahead and pull up daily FX. And usually the first thing I do when I get there is scroll down to click on Jamie's report. So let's see what he has to say with the synopsis on top. Uh, the U.S. dollar and yen especially remain strong. The yen looks likely to continue its trend while signals regarding the U.S. dollar are mixed. So let's scroll down uh, to the euro. If you recall yesterday, Jamie uh, was calling for um, uh, possible support in the 134.85 area. Um, that uh, area was actually broken, making a slight new low. Uh, I'll explain more when I get to the chart. Uh, you can see on the chart here, he says inverse head and shoulder pattern possibly forming. Uh, that's what I'm going to focus on once I bring up the charts. But I want to focus on the dollar yen as that's what the, my recent reports have been about for the most part. Um, and he's actually giving a very longer term view as, as uh, I mentioned in my past few reports. Um, Jamie's been spot on in the most recent decline in the dollar yen and also has called the correction almost perfectly uh, as well as the subsequent uh, resistance at 103 and now the resumption of the overall trend. So certainly uh, I hope you were following Jamie's reports in the, in the past uh, week or so uh, with the dollar yen. Uh, let's see what he has to say. I want to show the long-term structure once more because the dollar yen may, may be on the verge of entering its fastest decline in over 13 years. So uh, needless to say, Jamie is extremely bearish uh, on the pair. So hopefully you at home were able to get an entry near those resistance levels that Jamie had mentioned uh, in the report. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. And the first chart is the Euro US dollar. If you recall, uh, you know, Jamie was saying 134.85. I was mentioning uh, to be bullish against uh, 134.60. Uh, if you read the report, uh, if you scroll up and view yesterday's report, uh, we can see prices have uh, found a low temporarily. Let's see what that low is, 134.25. Uh, and this is the inverse head and shoulder patterns that Jamie is, is talking about here could possibly signal a reversal. Uh, this would be the right shoulder forming right now. Um, what I would say, and, and this is a, a potentially powerful signal, um, if it does hold. So as a short-term trader right now, uh, I like this trade in terms of being uh, holding a bullish bias against the most recent low. Again, about, about 34.25, but we shouldn't be that precise about things. So that's something to look for uh, moving forward over the next couple of hours to see if that right shoulder holds. Now, anything can happen. And this is one of those instances where, you know, I might have only a 30 or 40 percent uh, expectancy in terms of, um, you know, this trade working out in terms of an inverse head and shoulder working out here, but it's well worth that risk. Again, because if the pattern does hold, uh, the target would be uh, this low added to this breakout. So that, that's, a, that's a, a very large uh, potential breakout into the one, which would carry the pair into the low 140s as Jamie was calling for. So that's something that I would look for moving forward. However, as Jamie mentioned, uh, you know, prices have taken out uh, 134.85, which eliminates the most bullish count. Uh, but again, there's still a chance for that inverse head and shoulder pattern to play out. Uh, full disclosure here, I personally did get long um, just above that 134.60 uh, area. And now that that low has formed, I've placed my stop uh, just above the 134 figure. So that's what I'm looking for personally on the pair right now. Let's go ahead and pull up the dollar yen again, as that's what we have been focusing on. Um, that 134.50 uh, area, or excuse me, we were calling for uh, resistance in the 102.80 to 103.50 area, and the market gave you a very brief chance at entering that short trade. Um, so if you missed it, uh, hopefully you didn't if you were following uh, Jamie's reports, but if you did miss it, right now there's nothing to do. Uh, we have a very nasty uh, bearish candle um, uh, on yesterday's candle. So right now, uh, what I would suggest, if you did miss the trade, if you're flat, if you have no position in the pair, while Jamie is incredibly bearish on the pair, um, we would look for uh, good risk-reward trades at solid resistance levels. So certainly, um, you know, keep track of Jamie's reports. He'll always have those, uh, you know, if you're an aggressive trader, you can, you can follow his shorter-term resistance levels. Levels. And if you're a little more conservative, look for those longer-term resistance levels, which would be um, 
uh, like the 102.80 to the 103.50 area that I mentioned in the previous report and the, and the report before that would be one of those longer term levels. Again, my name is Matt Russell. I'm an FX Power Course instructor here at FXCM. Thanks for listening.